All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, HPain290 is the name, and the game we are playing today is Dead by Daylight. Now, if you clicked on this video, I know the real reason why. It's because you are a low-level killer like myself, and you also want to know how to master uh, playing the Doctor. Now, I will tell you, um, the Doctor is probably one of the better killers on the list from what I've known. I mean, I don't have most of them, but from what I've seen and a lot of videos I watched, the Doctor is just really OP. I guess with his new rework or whatever, from what everybody says, he's really, really uh, an underrated killer in my opinion. I don't feel like a lot of people have him high up on the you know, uh, killer's ranking list and everything like that. But I believe he's a really good uh, killer. Um, he can stop people from following pallets and everything like that. So um, I'm actually gonna run through a video. I mean, I run through a gameplay and just talk about the points and everything like that, and just show you guys how good he can actually be. Uh, actually be. Now, if you're like me, man, you don't have um, a lot of a lot of this stuff. Honestly, like, I mean, a lot of other killers' things like their perks and things like that. So you probably, uh, I, I mean, I'm lucky to have him at level 33. So you probably just have his like regular perks. Honestly, I'll run um, these two right here just because I feel like Hex, no one escapes. You one shot people at the end, which is pretty decent. And then Bitter Murmur uh, is also a pretty decent one. When you get done, when someone gets done with a generator, you'll be able to see it. Now the two I run with him is Overcharge and then Monitor and Abuse. Um, with this one right here, you're less, uh, you're not as easy to detect as some other killers you know running up on people and the overcharge usually if you want to you know keep people from completing generators you just kick them once and usually it's not a very you know it's not a really really hard i'd say uh skill check that they go through but um for low level people that I, who i'm playing against definitely is so that's the parts i really run i mean you can switch it up whatever you like but those are the ones i actually run um <laughs> So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. Alright, so we are just now loaded into the game. We are playing at a suffocation pit. Um, so, off gate, man. You want to make sure you can look around and see uh, where all the generators are. Usually, there's seven on a map. So, you know, that's basic knowledge. But, um, one, one of the things now, if you are running whispers, it is a really good part to run with the doctor just because you know when to use a static blast because the static blast usually puts people into the madness states and the madness states are really important. You want to make sure you get people to, you know, madness state level three. So, um, basically when you get around to them, you want, you want to try here, like this right here. You want to make sure you can hear uh, the people, see which generators they're working on. So you see, I found these two people right here already, just from listening to where they were, uh, what they were working on. So um, I, I've already, when you hit them with a static blast, you already see I got one of them. They're waiting on the pallet right there. I didn't get a hold of it. Usually, what you can do is when you load up the static blast and everything, you they won't be able to throw that pallet down. So it's okay. I'm hitting a little bit of lag. So I'm gonna wait on right here. She hits it. Oh man, she got lucky on that one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still, I, I, I'm, I'm not playing to my full potential. So the Meg is back there, but I'm pretty sure we've thrown them into a pretty high uh, mana state. This one right here, I have, we have. Oh, that was my B. I shouldn't have pulled it out right there. I can't do it right here, though. So that's it for her. I know the Meg's back this way, but I think I'm going to go work on the other people back the other way just because uh, they are. Oops, I stepped over. They are getting a little bit farther ahead on the, um, the generators. I know I've already knocked down one, so Meg's probably going to be trying to pick up this one right here. Um, so like I said, you want to try to get him in the highest madness tier possible. Um, that's usually basically how you want it to go, just so you can get them. Because usually when they hit madness tier 3, they can't even work on anything anymore. And so I see they're working on this one over here, and I think I just saw a guy run back this way. Yeah, it was Bill. He ran back this way. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to be chasing them. I'm trying to see if I can hit them. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on this right here. I mean, he hit him. That's two of them injured. I see that he's uh, going ahead. She's... See, she thought there was a pallet right there. That was going to be one of the things you get. Oh, she had... Uh, what's the name? So, let's see. Uh, I was, my fault. I didn't even see you. I thought she was back the other way. Alright, let's go around this way. And oh man, she just do me out, honestly. Dude, she is running me like crazy. I'm not I'm surprised. She 
Luffy is going to run me crazy. I see right there. Though. <laughs> She's really running me, dude. This is crazy. I'm actually having to focus here for a second. Okay, I got it right here. So she's they're probably over there looking at another one. Yeah, they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook her and then start working over to the other people. Try to get my higher uh mana state. Because I got two of them mana uh, level two of them. So let's see. I know they're working on these back ones over here. I don't believe they're working on this one over here. Yeah. Well, actually, were. Oh, I'm lagging super hard. So one of them's working back this way. It's most likely Bill. Yeah, I see the scratch marks back this way. He's probably trying to run and get old girl off the hook. Yeah, there they go right there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit her with a mess up as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just finish her off because she's the one that's been running me the whole time. Let's pick her up. So this is gonna be it for her. I'm gonna go ahead and finish her off. And now I'm gonna start making my way back this way because they have gotten three gens on me already, which is not a good thing. But I'm not really too stressful about it at the moment just because I know when I get a hold of them, it's gonna be kind of scary. I, I got rid of the one that's been running me the most. This is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this one while I'm at it. And make my way back this way. I'm pretty sure they're working on some of the generators. They're not, they haven't been working on this one over there. They're usually working on... It seems like these two right over here. Either this one or that one. Right there, that way. Okay, so he just landed on this one over here. So they are still working on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and just static blast them. You know, usually when they're this close, you know, you basically can get a hit on them before you hit. <laughs> there goes one of them right there. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Oh, he disconnected. Okay, great. So, oh, uh, we have one guy DC, which is... Not the best thing, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. So we see the scratch marks back this way. You always want to try and just cut them off, honestly. Like I said, you want to stop them from running. Um, it seems like, oops. It seems like they're more back towards this way. Looks like they're working on this gym. And I see the hatches right there, so that's a good thing. When you know what a hatch is, you know you can basically just run straight to it and get a hold of it. I think it's a bad thing though that the guy DC and he basically threw his teammates over. Alright, so they're over here working on this generator and this generator hasn't been worked on much, so. Let's see here. Okay. Alright, that's all right there. I feel like that's the Meg. And I can actually go ahead and control shift on her since she is close enough. Go <laughs> in there. I think she's at tier 3 now, actually, so. She's going to be screaming most of the time. Gives away the position. Hard for her to do basically just about anything. <laughs> and she did that. Not too sure there's a reason for that. Okay. And we'll probably be knocking her here in a second. Just because walking speed is always faster. And he's over there working on that generator. So she jumps that. And I'm going to get a hold of her right here. I lied. Uh, didn't calculate that right. Oh, that was a good pal. I didn't even notice that pallet was about to be right there. But actually, she might not be down right now. So she can't that pallet down, you see, just because when you hit her with a, the, uh, when she has, when you hit her with a static blast, she's just not able to go ahead and put it down. And he's still messing up on that generator back that way, so that's okay for us. Let's go ahead and make our way back this way. And we actually probably be able to find the guy pretty easily. Should be, since we have the static blast. But like I said, if you have Whisper, um, it'll make this a lot easier just because you know it's an automatic hit with a static blast. Um, which is basically a good thing. Um, we might not be able to find him, honestly, just because he might be running back. He might have ran around us. I'm going to go ahead and hit this, though. Just so if they get a chance. Not going to have it. Uh, probably make our way back to me because he's probably trying to go get the save right now. But she's still in tier three, 
Manus level two or three, and with that, she's not really able to uh, do much. So she's actually trying to get off the hook. She might be dying here in a second. And I know where the hatch is, so it's kind of bad for the guy. I know that for sure. And maybe he knows where he is as well. Let's see if I can catch him right around because he's got to be around here somewhere. I'm going to just... Unless he gets old girl off the hook, I'm going to just stay right next to the, the hatch. I'm telling you. If you know what a hatch is, it's pretty decent. Okay, so he got her off. All right, so what we'll be doing, we'll be making our way back over there. We'll probably go for her. Um, and I, another good thing about some of the perks you can put on when you have his uh, power is wherever his, uh, like, I'm trying to think of whenever his, wherever his things are. Oops, that's my fault. Um, his people, like the, the things of the doctor, wherever his things pop up. You can just basically follow where those are, and that, that usually shows you where the the um the people were. So it's a good you know reminder. You know. It looks like there he is right there. I was gonna say it looks like he's over there as well. So maybe I can't tell if that's Jake or Meg. That's Meg. So she might know actually know where the hatch is. Oh, actually she's giving up. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm doing a video. I can't. I, 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 I would. Uh, never mind. I'll, 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 I'll let her. I won't. I won't kill her. Don't. Don't wiggle out. Just don't wiggle out. No. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Come on. Come on. I'm not hooking you. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. I'm going to hook you, bro. Don't wiggle. Look, just follow me. Come on. Come on, follow me. Come on, since you want to wiggle, come on. I'm trying to take you to the hatch. I'm trying to be nice. Come on, here. Don't wiggle. Just let me walk you over there. And he's still wiggling. Uh, I'm trying to take you over there, bro. Come here. I'm trying to take you over there. Just follow me. I got you, bro. I'm taking you right over here to it. Stop. Stop. I know what the hatch is, bro. If you keep on, I'm going I'm 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 to I'm I'm have to hook you. Yeah. We'll be nice to her. There you go. Go ahead and get in. All right. So, I want to be nice to the guy. So, basically, they have man. <laughs> Uh, I mean, usually when you're in lower ranks like this, you de you definitely don't get too high of people. Um, and some of the people basically don't really know what they're doing. Um, but uh, you as a killer, when you're first starting off, you also don't know really what you're doing. And so that's why I feel like the doctor is a really good killer just to master early on. Because later on down the line, I feel like he actually is really good during end games. Because like I've seen, uh from the few videos i have seen with people playing like at the ranks one or whatever the, when they play as the doctor they usually do pretty decent just because he is a really good guy to be using especially if you get the right perks i just have not gotten right of perks but yeah um <laughs> thank you so much game uh, i put ggt i didn't mean to that but uh yeah uh so hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if it, if it was um leave me a comment down below let me know what you think if you do have some uh things you want to change up or you know what i need to change up let me know so i definitely because like i said i'm still learning the game as well but i feel like i do pretty decent as a killer at my rank but um yeah leave a like it really helps me out um and if you can hit that button right down the right hand corner that would definitely help me out as well and i will see you guys in the next video thank you